So I hear a saxophone way, way, way off in the distance. And I know it's a, it's a real saxophone, not a recording of a saxophone. My name is Steve Guttenberg, and I am the audiophiliac, but I'm obsessed about this question. Why is it so easy to tell the difference between an actual instrument, in this case a saxophone, and a recording of a saxophone? Now, I'm, I'm hearing this saxophone. It turns out to be three blocks away. And it's a really busy city street. Cars, traffic, noise, sirens, people talking, all kinds of car horns going. Everything's happening. And I hear this faint, tiny sound of a saxophone. Turned out to be three blocks away, as I say. And I'm getting closer and closer. And I'm, yeah, it's definitely a real saxophone. And the guy is good. He's, he's improving. He's just wailing. And he's, he's you know, it's, it, I, it's really good stuff. But I was in a hurry. I had to keep going. But I took his picture, which is in the thumbprint, fingernail print, whatever, for this video. And um, I'm, I'm fascinated by this idea. Now, it could have been a saxophone coming out of somebody's monster car audio system, right? From three blocks away. But no, I would never mistake that for an actual saxophone. If there was a guy with a turned over plastic drum, you know, like from a container or something, and whacking on that on the street. I know, I would know that's a human being hitting a, a plastic drum from blocks away and not a drum coming out of a car audio system or out of somebody's apartment window playing a saxophone or playing a, no, I could, oh, somebody's, it happened to me many times that someone's playing a piano and I hear it coming from a window, and I know it's a real piano and not a recording of a piano. And, there's, and the point of this is there's no confusion. It's not like maybe it's real. No, never is there the maybe is, is in there. That doesn't occur. It's so easy to tell, and I have no idea why that is. I've asked lots of audio files. I've asked lots of the speaker designers and engineers. They say things like transient response and stuff, but there's no transient response from a thousand feet away in a super noisy environment? No, or I, can't, I didn't hear notes. I, I couldn't hear anything. I just heard, that's a saxophone. So if you got an answer, ch chime in. What do we got to lose? Let's, maybe you'll be the one guy who, or woman who figures out what the hell it is that makes the sound of real instruments sound so different than recordings. And I don't mean in my living room, I mean in the street with there's all these other distractions and noises. Why is it still so easy to tell? From a thousand feet away, I could tell the difference. Why is that? My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. See you later.